Hello and welcome to day two of the three keys to scale your business without losing your mind free live stream event. Today we're talking all about how to create the stellar team that will support you and your business in its next evolution. So again, we know that you're stuck where you are now, busy in the day to day, maxed out serving the clients that you have. You know you need to start leveraging your time more. You might have already started leveraging it a little bit with group programs or memberships or you know lots of these other um, containers for your work. Uh, but now we need to find time to scale in a way that means that no matter whether there's a hundred or a thousand people in your program, it doesn't take any more of your time and energy. But first of all, to get from here to there, we need a few things in place. Yesterday, we talked about how you can get systems in place to support you. Imperfect systems that are implemented with just enough effort to allow you to take action. That was the big thing there, and I will be touching on that again today because that is how you're going to start freeing up little pockets of your time to work on that next growth project for your business, whether it's your course or, or the next program or promoting it or your messaging or whatever that next step is for you. It's also how you're going to create the little pockets of time to be thinking about and taking action on building your support team. So that is super, super critical for today. I will introduce myself. Hello, if you've not been around these parts for long, I'm Karen Hewson, your productivity and system strategist. I help uh, ambitious mompreneurs to organize your business so that you can create more time and energy for the things that matter. Create more time and energy to do the things in your business that you love to do, that fill you up, that give you more energy, and also allow you to work less so you can live more and live the lifestyle that you started your business to create in the first place. So these three keys, are absolutely foundational for that. Um, and now I kind of forgot where I was going with the other thing. <laughs> when we're talking about your stellar team, you know that the next level that your business is going to, that that looks different. It's not just you anymore. You need people to support you because you're going to need um, to not do all the things. One of the mottos that I use is that you can have it all without doing it all. And that's where your stellar team comes into play. So that's what I wanted to do. I want to invite you in the comments to um, let me know what comes up for you when you think about hiring a team member or growing your team. Like what resistance comes up? What makes it feel too hard? Because I'm going to cover um, like three or four different things that are probably coming up for you. But I would love to make sure that I, I hit them all or cover them all um, another time. So say hi in comments and let me know what's coming up for you when you think of hiring a team because it is scary. It is not just your business that you want to catapult to and to the next level. You as, a, as the business owner need to become the person who has a team, who hires and fires sometimes, who interviews, who makes really confident decisions. Okay. The first thing that I think comes up for people is that no one can do it as well or as quickly as I can. So again, I mentioned this yesterday, in your day to day, it is quicker for you to take 10 minutes instead of 15 minutes to do the task. But that means you will always be doing the task. And that does not serve you. That does not help you get to get you or your business to the next level. So the first thing is a bit of tough love where we need to suck it up and create time. We need to let go of that old belief and give people the chance and the opportunity to learn and to be able to do things as well and as quickly as we can. Often, we're not even operating in our zone of genius when we're doing these things anyway. And there are people out there that have um, more skills and more initiative and will do a better job for us on these things because they're not splitting their energy across everything. When they can just focus on one part of your business, they can think um, they can think better about it. They can think more strategically. They can see opportunities that you won't be seeing because you're just trying to make the most of that 10 minutes and get that job done. I hope that makes sense. So we need to give them the opportunity. And like I mentioned, the way that you find the time to do that and to allow it to take 15 minutes instead of 10 minutes is by having those systems in place. So if you haven't caught day one, go back, watch that one. Um, I'll drop the re, we do have a replay page where all of these live in case you're not there right now. Um, so I will um, pop that in comments. 
and you can catch all the replays. So after we're live here, you can go back and watch that. I'm trying to remember what the URL is now, replay. I'm pretty sure that's the replay page. Okay. It can be really easy and simple to hand over to a team member. So the first thing is it doesn't have to be this big, long, complicated thing that sucks up all your time. It's kind of a bit of a, <laughs> a message around these parts. Um, all you can do is the next time you do that activity, use a screen recorder, click record and kind of talk someone through it. It will take a little bit longer because you are talking while you're doing it. You're not just taking action, but that's what I mean. It'll take 15 minutes instead of 10 minutes. Then you have a training video for when you hire that out. Um, it's really good to do it when you know you do have someone to hand it over to. So you get the added satisfaction of knowing this is the very last time I'm having to do this task. And that feels really good and abundant and freeing. Um, so that's the first thing. To hand stuff over, just do that. Keep it simple. And then the second trick when it comes to, okay, I've got to create systems, I've got to grow my team, I've got to record what I'm doing, I've got to hand over, it becomes lots of stuff, right? When you bring a team member on, don't just delegate a task. Delegate responsibility for the result and the action. So if you want someone to repurpose your content, I'm going to use this example because this is what I'm working on at the moment. Um, you say you do a live stream, you have a podcast, you record a video, you write a blog post, whatever your core piece of content is, and then you're going to have one of your team members repurpose that, put it out on other social platforms, create social posts from it, schedule those out. Don't just ask them, you know, create a social post for here, create a social post for there. Give them responsibility for your content, for your content calendar, for the scheduling, so that not only are they doing the work, but then they become responsible for the systems around the work. So if it, the process changes, they are the ones recording the video to document it. They are the ones writing the checklists that we talked about yesterday. They are the ones updating the check, the simple checklist you might have started with because they are a different person and they need to remember specific things to do each time because we all, you know, forget, <laughs> forget little things, different little things when we're doing a, a task that has lots of steps in it. So delegate not just the responsibility for the action, but the, the systems that go along with it. So then all you're needing to do is probably start with a simple checklist to free up some of your time. So you can start thinking about who do I need to get, delegate this to and who do I need to hire. You then record a video that takes five or 10 more minutes longer, depending on how long the activity is. And then you hand both of those over to somebody who not only takes great initiative for doing the work, but is then responsible for making the, those checklists and that video more robust and so, to support your business going forward because if they're sick or if you have you know your team structure changes so that they're responsible for something else and you know someone needs to step into that there's there's all of that going on but it can be that simple sorry guys I'm playing with my hair tons got to get serious and tuck it behind my ears so that busts a couple of the problems we have right that nobody's going to be doing it as quickly as we can no, they're not, because you're not giving them, them the opportunity to, but it has to come back to the fact that you don't want to be doing it. And you don't have to invest very much extra time to do it. I think the second thing that comes up is that the idea of hiring in the first place. So how do I even know who I need on my team or what I need them to do, especially if your business is in a place where everything needs to be organized. That's one of my questions when people join the Time Freedom for Mumpreneurs Facebook group is what in your business do you want to be organized? And often the answer is all of it. <laughs> and I totally understand that. And I talked yesterday again about where to start targeting so that you can yeah, get started instead of just staring at all of it for months and months and not getting anywhere. Um, so often it can be the same thing. I want to delegate all of it or most of it. And I'm actually going to like cut into my flow here and ask you a question that I re I'm slowing down because I want you to slow down and think about this. There are only two things you need to be involved in in your business. So think about your to-do list, think about your week, think about all the things that you've got going around in your head. There's only two things that you as the founder and business owner of your business needs to be involved in. The first is strategic direction. So you're responsible for, you know, how are you creating the business to then create the freedom and choices you want in your life? So what is the strategy? What are the, um, 
What are the marketing strategies? What are your services? What is your price point? All of that stuff. So the strategic decisions. The second thing is creative direction. <laughs> What's the other word? The, the second one is creative direction. So strategic direction and creative direction. And creative direction is about your expertise. So often in online business, we are packaging up and delivering our expertise. We are teaching from our experience. So the creative direction that we provide is about what that content is, how it's communicated to people, what format it's in, what it looks like, what it feels like, what the experience is for our students and customers. Okay, but those are the only two things you need to be involved in. Other people can do everything else. Now, the little control freak in you is probably like screaming and yelling and having a tantrum right now. <laughs> that's okay. Mine does too. Um, but that's where you want, that's where you can get to. So what that allows you to do is ask the question, what do you want to be involved in in your business? So I'm not saying those are the only two things you have to be involved in in your business. Your business is your thing to create into whatever you want it to be. And you want it to be the perfect fit for you. Okay. So, but it gives you the freedom to say, well, if I only have to be involved in those two things, what do I, what do I really want to be involved in? And I did this a little while ago and it came up with, okay, I love being on live stream video. I love interacting with my community. I love being on calls with clients. Um, I really love teaching and helping people get clarity on where to start. So instead of all of my business, all the things, let's figure out what you need and what's the next step. I love showing up like this and talking and helping people. Um, so that made it really clear the types of, um, you know, programs I wanted to offer and the different support structures and all of this suddenly becomes a lot clearer. Like what marketing am I doing? Well, of course I'm doing live stream videos. I'm not going to be doing podcasts. I might get interviewed on other people's podcasts. That's a different story. But for my content creation, like that is what I want to be doing. And that aligns with all of that. So, um, this can be something you do now, maybe include it in your 2020 planning or whenever you're going to be doing any type of reflection and planning for your business. If you had your absolute dream day doing all the things you love in your business that fill you up with energy and put you on the highest you know, level of excitement, what would those things be? And that's when you can start moving backwards and say, well, okay, as far as content goes, I'm doing a live stream once or twice a week, and then I'm not touching my content. Somebody else is doing everything else. So that gives, that make, bring, blah, 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 blah. that opens you up to having somebody on your team thinking about it, attracting it, noticing the people in your um, community and your network already who do those sorts of things. That's what's happened to me. It's pretty cool, guys. So really let that sink in. The only two things you need to be involved in in your business are strategic and creative direction. So that allows you to ask yourself the question, what do you want to be doing in your business? And then if you only did those things, what would your stellar team look like? Now, this is another one where we feel like, well, that means we'd have to have this gigantic team. We'd now be like doing nothing in our business except managing people because we'd need to have like 10 team members going on. So I want to give you two examples. Um, one example is uh, Boss Project with um, Abigail and Emily. They had a podcast interview a while ago talking about their team and their team grew really quickly over, I don't know, 12, 6 to 12 months, 12 to 18 months, something like that. Um, they, they really grew and they hired a lot of people um, at that time. So they were a business that now has about, you know, eight to 10 staff and they are managing that. Now, there are, of course, different roles that can sit between like you as the face of your business, the tr strategic creative direction and the operational side of all the people doing the doing. Um, online business managers are great. Project managers are great. Integrators are great if you're familiar with those terms. If you're not, don't even worry about it. Um, but there's another example I want to give of Denise Duffield Thomas, who I love. I followed her forever. And she doesn't like or want to have like a big team full time, like ongoing through the year in her business. So it's her, it's her husband now. And I think she's got like two virtual assistants and that is like her permanent staff. 
So the people that are always in her business. What she does is she hires experts on a project basis. So she will go ahead and batch all her content at you know a certain time of the year so over like maybe one quarter she'll have a whole lot of people videographers photographers um you know tr people transcribing stuff creating the social content scheduling it out she'll have all of that done and batched in one go she might then spend another quarter updating her website and her programs and her branding so that's a different set of people coming in for a project set of work and you can operate your business any way you want. Yes, you want to delegate and have different team members, but you don't need to have a full staff of, you know, 10 to 15 people if that's not what you want. And you can also grow into it. So a lot of you listening might have a virtual assistant, have probably worked with a business coach, have probably hired like a copywriter or a graphic designer or somebody like that on a project basis to do some stuff for you. So we don't have to go from like zero to a hundred, literally. <laughs> we can say, right, what is the next, you know, big chunk of support that I need in my business? And then you work to maxing out that person. So you bring on an assistant and you work to maxing them out. And often when you're working with virtual assistants, they grow with you and then go into a specialty. So I have a client of mine, her assistant is going to become the project manager for her um, web design branch of her business. So you can see how these people can kind of grow with you and scale with you. Okay, we're running a bit long, so I'm going to try to wrap it up. Um, what that means is that you are going to have to do some hiring. You are going to have to figure out, like, who do I need? What's the next person? But there are resources out there to help you, okay? If you want some referrals, let me know. Uh, because I've met some awesome people who help you figuring out to figure out how you can um, how, how you can afford a team, right? If you want to hire a permanent staff or you want to have people like how do you structure your finances to be able to do that and support you doing that? I know some people in HR that know how to write the job description and do the hiring process and support online businesses to do that. So there are people and resources out there that can help you take those like scary leaps to becoming the boss, not just of you, not just of an assistant, but actually the boss of your business with a team. And really it's about stepping up and doing that. And you can do it little by little. I think it does come back to though, you know, thinking about, well, you know, these are all the people I would like to have supporting me in doing this work. Some of it might be getting done now, some of it might not. Some of it you might have, um, you know, put off until you can hire someone to do that. Like an example for me is, you know, distributing my content further. So like a YouTube channel for my videos. I'm not even touching YouTube anymore. I used to dabble um, until I have someone who can really take it and leverage it effectively because it's not a good use of anyone's time unless it's, you know, done properly and the results are really looked at and targeted. So now that we're nearing the end, I want you to tell me what's coming up for you now around hiring a team. How are you feeling <laughs> about doing that and what clarity do you need? Okay, um, comment down here, but also come into the Time Freedom for Mumpreneurs Facebook group and you're welcome to do um, a post in there asking for help or talking about your situation. If it's easier for you to talk it out like it often is for me, you're welcome to go live and share what you're needing and I'll come back and help you. Um, and I also have a special offer for you. I have two 90-minute sessions left in November. Um, say yes to support, aptly named, guys. <laughs> Um, where I can sit down with you for 90 minutes, we can talk through where your business is at, what support you have now, and figure out what that best fit is for you to take the next step to where you want to go. Because often when you're in it and you know your brain is all a muddle, it really is sitting down with someone and committing to that time to think it through. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can go to uh, karenhewson.as.me, I'll just pop it down here in comments, forward slash 99090 minutes, M-I-N. Um, go ahead and check out my calendar there, like I said, there's just two spots available um, left in November. So grab those and um, I'd love to help you 
help you get your team on the right track because 2020 is going to be an epic year guys and no matter when you're listening to this whether it is 2020 already or not you can reset and go fast like put your foot on the accelerator with the right systems in place with the right support and tomorrow we're going to be talking about how to put your lifestyle first so that you're not sacrificing your lifestyle to grow your business and your business is not being sacrificed because your family and your life are stealing all of your time you can live your dream lifestyle now and your business and your lifestyle can grow and scale together Okay, guys, lovely to hang out with you. I will see you again soon.